Hi and welcome to another video from Divine by Design. Today I'm going to be taking you through an instruction for water marbling with nail polish. I will be using CND Vinyl Luxe as I am naturally a CND tech. You need to choose a good quality polish. If you want to be able to purchase Vinyl Luxe then if you go to www.lovecnd.com and type in your postcode you'll be able to find a CND tech within your local area um, who will be able to provide you with Vinyl Luxe. Now once you have your polish, there's a few other things you're going to need today. We're going to be needing some cotton buds or q-tips, as they're called in the US. A fine pointed dotting tool, which I'll just show you here. If you don't have one of these, then you can use alternatively an orange wood stick. A dotting tool for any artwork and a firm bristle brush. Now this one is just one that came out of a set of about 15 that I purchased through an online um, auction site. You will also need some plastic back pads. You're also going to need a little pot. Now ideally I've trialled a few, but the best size is about the size of the top of a mug. This one is a little ramkin. Now I've heard a lot of things said about using different types of water, for example filtered or distilled. I've got on just fine with tap water, providing that it's room temperature. You don't want it too cold, because otherwise the polish will start to set. To start, you need to make sure that you perform PEP. Now if you're not a professional and you want to give this a go with your vinyl Lux or your polish at home, then basically what you need to do is do your cuticle work, perform a manicure and give your nails a nice file so then even and no sharp edges, and then use something like, um, if you can't get your hands on scrub fresh, which is what I will be using, then you need to be using either a nail polish remover or some pure acetone to give your nails a scrub to remove any of the natural oils and contaminants before you start this. Once you've done that, you need to do a base coat on your nails of white. Now we choose white just because it makes the colours pop a little bit better. With this, I've only had to do one coat because it is a really good coverage of nail polish. Um, if you're using another type of nail polish, you might want to do two. Initially, I'm going to show you a few different ways to get some different patterns, and I'm going to do it on one fingernail at a time. A few hints and tips. Give your bottles a really good shake first, and then have them lined up around your bowl with the lids already unscrewed, ready to drop. This is particularly important if you choose to use Vinylux as it is an extremely quick drying polish so you want to get a good effect. That also means that you can do this water marbling really quickly on yourself and on clients. Another trick to get the best effect which I found is try to keep your creams with your creams and your metallics with your metallics. So here we have our colours ready to start. It's always important to start with the white. You're not going to see this on the nail but we'll show you why in just a moment. So you start with your white or your cream puff and just let a drop go into the center as you can see it spreads out do the same with each color afterwards and go into the center of each color and just do a drop now what we're going to do is take your dotting tool and we're going to draw into it. Start from the centre and pull out and go to the edge of the bowl. If you need to, give your dotting tool a wipe down first in between each one. And always work from opposite sides to stop your polish tearing. If your polish does tear like this, don't worry about it. It won't show up when we put it onto the nails. Now the white is so that you pull away from the colour inward from it. This will stop the overall design tearing. To get a nice effect, pop down in the middle. Okay, so this first design is how we achieve the flower. If you want to do this onto your nail now, you look for the centre to get the flower effect and place the nail at an angle down into the water. And hold it under. You just want to hold it under long enough that the polish on the top starts to form a skin that we can remove. And you can just clean this off while the nail is underneath. Then remove the nail. As we can see, we've got a lovely flower design. While it's still wet, take your fine dotting tool around the edge of the nail to break the seam. Once that's done, going to get a plastic back pad 
and soak some nourish and remover onto it. Now this is CND nourish and remover. If you can't get your hands on this, then you can just use pure acetone. Now with the plastic side against the nail, we're going to go very close to the actual start of the polish, but you're going to put the plastic side against it and go around in a sweeping action. Be careful on the side walls. Once you've done that, you can clean off the rest of the finger. Okay, so finished off cleaning the polish off the finger, take the same pad and then take your firm bristle brush. This is just to provide a really clean finish. And put your firm bristle brush into a pad soaked with the remover. Then we're going to go very detailed around the edge and just sweep firmly. Water marbling doesn't need to be all over the skin, you want it just on the nail. Okay, so we finished tidying up here and it looks all clean and tidy. I'm going to show you a few other designs, I'm going to hold off top coating yet because I'm going to show you a few options for finishing off these designs. Now we're going to look for a more tropical design for holidays and things like that or festivals. You can use the same water again, just make sure that you've cleaned anything off the surface of the water and we're going to start again but this time we're going to add a few more layers. Okay. Now you're going to get your dotting tool again, and again start from the middle and draw out. Now you can do some different designs here. Always make sure you don't pull from the white though, pull from the next colour in. And we're going to apply our nail to this now. Now choose the area because obviously if you go for the centre here you're not going to get much design on this. If you want some of this shape you need to apply to the side. Here's got quite a nice design. So place the fingernail in and don't place the fingernail too flat because that's when you can get air bubbles. And that's the finished look after going round with a chisel brush with either nourishing remover on it or you can go for acetone. So next we're going to look at design with some metallic polishes. For this next design we're going to do a slightly different effect and for this you just need your white or your CND Vinylux and Cream Puff as your base. Then I have some Red Baroness and some Locket Love. Now get your dotting tool and draw from the centre out so you get a line across. Now we're going to go lines across that way and then draw back down the other way. You can see we've got like a nice fire shape in the centre here. We're going to use that one. So that's the finished design tidied up with the brush. Again we're not going to top coat until we finish this because we can add to these designs. Now we're going to go for one with a dark blue that's a little bit more of a messy style. For this next design I'm going to be using Midnight Swim and Silver Chrome and let's draw out but then we're going to just go a little bit messy. There's some great designs there. We're going to use that one. Pick the area you want to be on your nail. I'm going to go there and pop the nail in again. And that's the finished design tidied up. One last version now just on individual finger and that's going to be a flower design. So now we're going to go for a pretty flower design. So now we're going to pull in from the outside and drop down in the centre. And go from the opposite corner and drop down in the centre. Make sure you clean your dotting tool off in between, or as you can see it can tear the polish. Just getting a bit more detail into this. Now I'm liking the look of the bit over the side here. We want this on an angle against our nail. So you can turn the bowl to suit and place it in at an angle. There is the finished water marbling design. So now I'm going to show you how to add a little bit to these now that we're finished. So we're just going to add a few details to some of these. I'm going to start by showing you how you can add a little bit to this one here, just making it look a little bit more like a flower. Take one of your used plastic back pads and just add a drop of polish to it. Remember, always give your polishes a shake before you use them then. Get your dotting tool. 
and just add some dots. There we go, very simple but very effective. On our design where we used the Locket Love and Red Baroness, take some Red Baroness, pop it onto your pad, remember to clean off your dotting tool in between, and just add some dots. Now get your Locket Love, and do the same in the red areas. On our flower design, if you want to make it look a little bit more like a flower, Stick with the Locket Love. I can do this with an art brush, obviously. Just flick out a few designs. For our festival nails, we're going to contrast with some bicycle yellow and some hot pot pink. That gives a great finish on that one. And we're going to leave the last one be. And we're going to add some Swarovski crystals to some of these. And for the final stage we're going to add a bit of Swarovski crystal detailing. Remember to give your top coat a really good shake first. And we're going to start with our first finger. Float your top coat over the top. And then I'm going to use an Indian Red Shroski Crystal. And just pop it on into the top coat. I'm also going to take a golden shadow and pop a couple of those in. Give it a little wiggle into the surface so it stays put. That just adds a little bit of detail. Now we're going to do our flower design. Got a little too much top coat on your brush, just take it off. And we're just going to add one golden shadow into the centre of the flower. I'm just going to add one crystal to this, just as a finishing piece. And I'm going to be using Indian Pink. Just pop it down the side. Now we're just going to do our final nail. And we're going to use dark indigo and hematite. And here we have the finished nails, all top coated and finished with a little bit of solder oil. You can see we've left this one as it is, we've just applied top coat and the others with the crystal that just adds a little bit of something to them. If you want to do this on all four fingers so you don't have to wait, just get your bowl. Once you've put your polish in and done your design, you just apply all four fingers in at once. Do exactly the same thing again, which is scoop around the top with a cotton bud or a Q-tip. And you have your finished design on four of your fingers and just finish off with your thumb. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Remember you can find me on my website at www.divinebydesignbeauty.com on my Facebook page on www.facebook.com forward slash divinebydesigncndnails on Twitter I'm divinebydesign1 on Pinterest I'm xdbdx on Instagram I'm divinebydesignbeauty but thank you for watching and I hope you give it a go and wish you great success. Love and respect.